The MSD community is mourning the loss of another former MSD student a little more than a year after the tragedy at the school. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Parkland with the story of Sydney Aiello and what we can learn from her death. Carrie. Very, very sad turn of events here. I spoke with Sydney Aiello's mom earlier today. Her mother is deeply in grief over this. She told me that her daughter, Sydney, was a student here, Stoneman Douglas, last year. She graduated last year. She was greatly affected by the tragedy on the campus, and now she hopes others can learn from what happened with her daughter. This is 19 year old Sydney Aiello, a young woman who a Marjorie Stoneman Douglas teacher described as a joy to have in class. Aiello was close friends with Parkland shooting victim Meadow Pollock. Aiello's mother told me that Sydney felt survivor's guilt and was diagnosed with post traumatic stress disorder after being on campus the day of the shooting last year. Aiello's mom said Sydney struggled to attend college classes because she was afraid of being in a classroom and was sad but never asked for help before she killed herself. Her mom hopes Sydney's story can help save others. It breaks my heart that we're, we've lost yet another um, student from St Stoneman Douglas. Ryan Petty's daughter Elena died in the shooting. He's focused a lot of effort on suicide prevention since the Parkland tragedy, worried that traumatized teens might take their own lives. Petty says people need to ask questions to someone who might be considering suicide, like, have you thought of killing yourself? And have you had any intention of acting on those thoughts? My advice to parents is ask questions. Don't be afraid. Don't wait. Sydney Ehrenberg Seltzer is president and CEO of the Children's Services Council of Broward County. She said there are lots of community resources, like the 211 hotline and a new program called Eagles Haven, opening next month in Coral Springs. Seltzer said the Parkland tragedy proved that we all need to work to get over the stigma associated with mental health problems and an inability to ask for help when we're struggling. She said it's important for parents to look for suicide warning signs like kids who hurt themselves or stop taking part in important activities. Parents have to be a little bit more aggressive if they see those signs and not just wait for the child to ask for help, but maybe to take them to those resources. Sydney Aiello loved yoga, and her mom said she wanted to dedicate her life towards helping others. Now you can help her family by donating money to a GoFundMe account set up in Sydney's memory. We've got lots of important links and resources on our website, cbsmiami.com. There is a link to that GoFundMe page. There are links to resources here in Broward County for suicide prevention. There are also links to something called the Columbia Protocol. That's what Ryan Petty was talking about. Some important questions that people can ask others who might be going through some suicidal thoughts. Live in Parkland, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News. Certainly an urgent wake-up call. Kerry, thank you very much. And if you or anyone you know is in suicidal crisis or emotional distress, help is available. The numbers for the suicide prevention lifelines in Broward and Miami-Dade counties are right there on your screen. And you can also call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. The Lifeline's website is suicidepreventionlifeline.org. There is free counseling and confidential support available 24 hours a day, seven days a week.